Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, Groundhog Gameplays here. Uh, we have ourselves a uh, little video here. This is going to be showing off. I may or may not lower the end game volume. Uh, shit. Uh, let's see. Where's my ear trumpet? Yes, I said ear trumpet. I got a specialized program that allows me to control my audio levels. Uh, better than what Windows allows me to do. This should be better. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go from here so we don't have to hear the uh, warping off sounds. Right now, this is one of my science characters, Federation. Um, we are in the uh, Titan Science Destroyer T6. This is this is a ship that was originally not supposed not supposed to be given out to KDF characters. This was before the anniversary launched and stuff, and before they announced that uh, we would be getting, um, you know, T6. You know, any feder any ship allowed to be played on. Uh, KDF starting at level 65, of course, with the exceptions. But the point of this video is, I'm already you know I'm already rambling on, but you know I don't you know what the hell that's the point. But on this character, at least, I'm going to show off um, a work in progress, uh, work, progress, work in progress science build. Sorry about that. My apologies. This is being recorded live, so of course there's going to be some bumps on the road here, but we're gonna run down our weapons set weapons first. We got in, in our in our four weapons we got prolonged engagement phaser beam array mark XV Tor Forton Torpedo Mark XV Sensor Length Phaser Beam Array Mark XV Ultra Rare Another sensor length phaser beam and then now we got our meat and potatoes here. Part of our meat and potatoes anyway. We got Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Defector Array Mark XV Epic. Cold Crit. Control X and EPG. Control X times 2. EPG. This is from Colony Fleet Holding. This is probably one of the best deflectors in the game. Santa provided, you know, no nerfs or anything happen, which is probably going to happen at some point in the future. Just a heads up. Uh, this is one of the best deflectors in the game. Non-rep. In my opinion. And we got strategic inhibiting secondary deflector. Control X, EPG. Control X, X3. Sensor analysis plus damage. There's all the rundowns of what that all that does. This is also a fleet quality secondary deflector. Her impulse, at least on this tune, we got prevailing bolstered impulse engines, Mark XV, speed modifier, and then there's all the uh, stuffs in there, all the modifiers and whatever. I don't necessarily recommend. You go for, uh, this is from competitive rep. I don't exactly recommend you go for competitive rep anymore, if not only for the fact that it's hard as hell to find cues for it anymore. You have to rely on, you have to rely on, uh, your recruit reward crates and stuff from anything, uh, most recent that would be. Not temporal, uh, the most recent, uh, Gamma Recruit and the KDF Recruit, you have to re rely on those to get your competitive marks and basically grind your way to get marks from other queues and stuff, multiple choice patrols. It's, it's still, it's, I recommend it, but at the same time I don't because of how hard it can be to get. Uh, followed with that we have Elite Fleet Plasma Integrated Warp Core Mark XV Amp Engine to Auxiliary Engine Cap Capacitor with that's battery. If Warp Core Core Efficiency Slipstream 
uh, SSS. I believe that's uh, that's more speed for slipstream uh, slipstream drive for shields. We got prevailing innervated resilient shield array mark xv resilient is probably one of the better ones they can have for science characters you're there at the covariant you know depending on how you get your build set up there in there's all the stats and stuff for that right there uh for our for our aft weapons we got more sensor linked phaser rays and then we got trilithium enhanced omnidirectionals um omnidirectional and there's that, and for experimental, I gotta upgrade this yet, but so let them, <coughs> excuse me, wave and pillar. This is based on yeah, engine power. So, if I wanted the better ones, and for our devices, we got Pro Negotiator. This is a recruit reward. If you missed on, I believe this was for Delta, so if you missed out on that, uh, you Probably won't be able to ever get that. And Nimbus uh, Pirate Distress Call, I'm gonna get rid of this and get something better. And now for our meat and potatoes here. For engineering, we got Universal Assimilated Module, Mark XV. This is from Omega Reputation. This console here, this is from the Bajoran Interceptor. Which was an event reward, I believe. Anniversary, I forget which anniversary. It was a couple years ago already, at least, I believe. And for science, we got Exotic Particle Focuser, Mark XV, Control X, EPG. We got four of them. I have five, but uh, there's only five, four con science consoles on the ship as of right now. There will be a universal right up in here when I upgrade this to T6X. And basically what these do, there's, there's that. Right there. Okay. Um, these are from Fleet Research Holding. And for tactical, we got... Since I'm running a phaser build, we got four, of the, three of these, and we got Tega Kinetic Converted. This is a lobby console. I almost didn't get it because I clicked the wrong thing, but there's that. So basically, and then as we run down here, you notice that my critical damage is fairly high for a science character, uh, and my crit severity as well. Now tactical, actually, we're not going to show tactical. We're going to run down this first, then we're going to show my skill tree. And then my traits, for this character at least. And I'm going to put that little bit right there into my bank, account bank. Shield restoration, we got 100. Shield capacity, we got 95. 85 for a regen. 50 for shield hardness, 413 control expertise. That comes from these consoles right here, this one right here, or this one right here, this here, this here, and I believe there is a yep from two piece as well, and then uh, drain expertise we got one hundred EPG we got two eighty three on this character the science. Readiness, 85. Okay, now for our skill tree. This may or may not work for some of you. If, if you have a better skill tree, then, you know, definitely let me know, and I will put it down. I will retrain my skills. We got two points in hull restoration, three points in shield restoration, two in shield cap, three in energy weapons, two in, EP, in EPS, Three in control, three in drain, two in accurate and targeting expertise. This is basically your accuracy. Uh, hull plating. We got two in shield regen, one in shield hardness, three in weapon amplification. This is your critical severity. Uh, three in in, uh, in weapon specialization. This is your crit chance. Defense subsystem. This is shield auxiliary. 
3 in EPG, 2 in long range targeting sensors. This increases this decreases the damage penalty based on how far away from your target you are. Uh, hull pen. This improves your hull penetration. Uh, we got warp core potential and warp core efficiency. Two inch in scientific readiness. We got one in shield mastery, shield absorption, shield reflection. Uh, for our bonuses for our choice selection, we got hangar health, uh, sector speed, travel. I could have gone with trans warp cooldown reductions, but eh. Uh, we got maximum shield capacity because. Honestly, I prefer shield capacity over stealth. Uh, at least on science characters. We got control resistance. Our, our control is relatively high to begin with, but uh, we got more resistance to incoming control effects. And then for. And then we got shield drain resistance. And then we got our ultimate probability manipulation. This allows for more critical hits. Uh, for our tactical sele selections, we got hangar weaponry. For pets, this the ship in particular does not have pets. I do have one that has pets, but I'm not flying in at the moment, at least on this character. Projectile crit chance, and then that's it for that. And for ground, we got two and weapon for, for uh, weapon proficiency. We got endurance training. Improved endurance training, armor expert, personal shields expert, personal shield resilience, and then we got uh, kit performance expert, efficiency, master. And apparently I did not select these. I had to retrain my character. There was a couple of glitches along the road where I had to retrain and retrain and retrain because of a bug, but I'm not going to worry about these. For the moment. Now we're going to run through our traits. A lot of these are going to be replaced here eventually as I unlock more lockbox traits and stuff based on what is best. A lot of these are still default what was included with this character. We got creative, medical vanguard, fleet technician, uh, field technician rather. Uh, lucky. Self-modulating shots. Serenity. Vicious. Soldier. Resilient. For his personal space, we got a fulcrum shift. Context is for kinks. Invasive control programming. No retreat, no mercy. Oblique shielding. Psychological warfare. Operative. Innocuous. Conservation of energy. Starship traits. Black alert. This is from the uh, Crossfield Science Spear. I got that out of a lockbox one day. I was happy as hell when I got that. I'm never getting rid of this trait, ever. Emergency response teams. This is probably going to be replaced. Definitely going to be replaced. Particle feedback loop. Electrified anomalies. This is from the summer event ship. Space reputation. Active hull hardening. Advanced targeting systems. Control countermeasures. Precision. Auxiliary power configuration defense. This slit, this slot right here, was unlocked from a fleet holding. Uh, to minimize the chat for now. Uh, rending shots for ground reputation. Physical conditioning. Lethality. Energized nanites. Active ground reputation. We got concussive tachyon emission. Defiance. Medical nanite. Club. Piezoelectric Parameter Snare. 
for space we got. Force challenge. Quantum singularity manipulation. Anti-time entanglement singularity. Deploy a sensor interference platform. And this is not even max potential of what this can, what this tune can do. But it's closer to max potential I am going to swap over to. You'll see that here in a minute. We are going to go to my Gem Hadar character. This is my this is my second Gem Hadar character. Uh, I have a I have a Gamma recruit, uh, recruit in here. He's probably down towards... No, where is he? Uh, here he is. Here's, here's my Gamma recruit, but we're not going to swap over to him. <sighs> did I sell something or did I get something returned? Nice. No, I was told how to go. No, 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 no. We just switched over. We're beaming up. Why am I showing you one or two and a half signs? Well, you'll, you'll see in a second here. Hold on. Because this one is this one is much closer to what they deem to be maximum potential for what I'm able to get. I can do better. I know there's better builds and stuff out there, but this has this has worked for me for quite some time since I kind of more or less figured it out. We're gonna go out here. Right here is good. All right. Skills wise, it's pretty much the same thing. Traits wise, it's a little bit different. We got adapt adaptive defense. Pulse it thickerum est. Hollow decoys. Show no weakness. Universal laws for lackeys. Soldier, resilient, medical vanguard, field technician, doctor defense, conservation of energy, innocuous, operative, SWAT system, efficient captain, astrophysicist, accurate, particle manipulator. Particle feedback loop, electrified anomalies, cold hearted, preparedness, uh, photonic boring part. This is a T 6X ship, by the way. Particle gen generator amplifier, strength and shielding, enhanced sensors, auxiliary power configuration defense, personal energy amplifier. Strength and personal shielding, strength of body, indomitable. We have. We're gonna apply that way to have no other ground reputation. Okay. Now here's where it gets interesting. And by the way, here's my weaponry on this. I, I got a pole around build to figure, you know, I'm running a gym Hadar. I kind of want a themed build, you know, energy, energy typing. Pole around is probably not the best to use, but I wanted to go themed, you know, because why not, you know, have a little fun. Uh, and this was an ev this is an event set that I got running here. I am slowly but surely going to replace this with Gamma Reputation and or Fleet. This is from Colony. Uh, 
All right, and then right here, Universal Console, we got Hostile Acquisition. Boronite based weaponry. Retrofitted simulator. Assimilated module. And then we got five of these. Two of these. And there's that. Why do we got that? Boom. And then for our pet, we're going to replace this eventually too. Uh, now, here's the di here's the big difference between this character and Geraldine, which I was just on. 463 control expertise. 341 EPG. So that right there... Oh, and by the way, here are my here are my powers. I'm going to swap back over to Geraldine to show the powers I got on her as well, which are different from this character slightly. Attack with team, attack pattern beta, torpedo spread three, fire at level one, target shield subsystems two. I have a reason for that because I I forget what my reasoning was for that one, but I yeah that's why. Okay. For we got then we got engineering team one, reserve uh, reverse shield polarity one, direct energy modulation two. A lot of these powers are going to be swapped out eventually, so don't worry. Channel deconstruction one, hazard emitters two, timeline collapse one, gravity well three, subspace vortex one. Why do I not have the better version of timeline collapse one? Gravity wall is better, at least in my opinion. I just need to get the improved gravity wall trait. I do not own the ship yet that has that, but I will soon enough. Ground build, it, that, that's not exactly referent, uh, uh, relevant to the discussion at hand here. Now swapping back over to Geraldine. It took me several science characters to get this stuff worked out. Stations. Tactical Team 1. Fire at will 2. Beta 2. Mega 2. I'll replace that with Beta with Omega 3. Chemo Sightly's Weaponry. EP emergency power to weapons one, shield polarity one, science team one, hazard emitters two, destabilizing resonance beam two, gravity wall three, tachyon beam one, tractor beam two, subspace vortex three. So, how does this all equate to a a decently good science build in my opinion. Well, let's demonstrate that, shall we? Let's see if anyone's alive. You're at their uh, do we, yeah, let's do a starbase one. No, it's not. I didn't want to. No, fine. But no. Alright. Let's do a patrol because that'll be quicker.
Yeah, here we go. This is probably not the best way to show off build, but it's probably nice. That's the SWAT system going into effect. See? This is why you want high control, for at least for uh, gravity wheels and stuff, and basically just control abilities in general. A lot of those cruisers were barely able to move, even with uh, their emergency evasive and stuff. And it also depends on your auxiliary, how much is in your auxiliary as well, the higher the better. Now come on, get sucked up by the gravity well. Come on, be a good boy. You can only evade it for so long. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get in there. I may have seen this as well. What does this do? Well, it's, let me show you. Uh, now we're going to have to see if we can turn the ship around. Uh, I didn't get him in time. Shit. Oh well. La di la di la la di fucking da. Good for you. Or not. Get freaking yeeted. Gentlemen and everyone in between is 
that. We will do a better demo of my science builds. This is basically just a kind of showing what my science builds are and what potential I have. We'll do a proper video later today. What time is it? Yeah, it's 1.23 as of ending this recording off. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be doing a Star Base 1 later.